Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video about Prometheus and Grafana. In this video, I'd like to show you how to install uh, Prometheus and Grafana. This is very, very easy. You can uh, do it on uh, Red Hat or CentOS, but we do it on, uh, on Debian. So to do it, uh, I have a Vagrant, a Vagrant virtual machine. Uh, if you want, you can go in the link below the, the video, in the video description. You can follow the link and in this link you can uh, discover DevOps land directories and Prometheus Grafana directory. And in this directory, you have a directory named Vagrant. And in the Vagrant, you have a Vagrant file. Um, and now I just run uh, one virtual machine named Monit1. And this, uh, this VM is up. All the script uh, allows you to install and to to provision a Prometheus and Grafana stack with some uh, other server if you want to test some uh, monitoring uh, test to do some monitoring test you can do it with this script uh, we'll see it in uh, in next video uh, when we can so to do to do this video we just uh, connect on uh, uh, Monit1 with a Vagrant sorry, Vagrant SSH Monit1 we go on this machine and uh, we just run a sudo sudo apt update to update uh, our uh, apt cache and after it yes, we run sudo apt install uh, Prometheus to start. Okay. Right. And that takes a few seconds. This is very, very easy. And uh, when we have. Yes. So uh, we can uh, check if we have we do system CTL if we have start our Prometheus server we use system CTL status with Prometheus we have our uh, Prometheus uh, our Prometheus is running and we can check if we listen on uh, 9090 uh, port <laughs> sorry uh, to do it we just use netstat yeah. Up. and we can see here we listen on all interfaces uh, on uh, 9090 board okay so we can just uh, check which IP we have we have this IP and we can connect now on this Prometheus server with our browser and now we have our graphical user interface um, we we'll see in next video uh, what we can find in uh, the uh, GUI. Um, our Prometheus uh, file configuration is in slash slash etc slash Prometheus Prometheus.yml. We we'll see it later with definition and some com concept. Um, Okay, um, now what we do, if we want, we can uh, activate uh, the reload with the curl. I think uh, it's not activated by default. Uh, yes, by default, uh, this option is not uh, activated uh, because uh, we just need to change uh, the the command line to run uh, our Prometheus server. We'll see it later. Um, if you want, you can 
uh, install Prometheus with a do Docker container. To do it, uh, I add uh, this line. Uh, be careful, we need to uh, mount some uh, volumes for uh, our Prometheus uh, configuration to persist uh, this file and for Prometheus data of course in with slash Prometheus uh, we need to mount this point uh, out of our container and we run uh, our Prometheus uh, images image uh, we just need to to uh, to to choose with uh, which uh, version we we want to to run, uh, we I prefer uh, to not use latest. I uh, just add it in this uh, example, but uh, I prefer to uh, fix the version, not uh, to run a specific uh, latest version. And uh, you need to uh, to expose your port with a dash p uh, on uh, in my example we just expose this port on our uh, local server on 1990 um, that's all for prometheus and now uh, we just need to install grafana to install grafana uh, we need to add the apt key of our grafana labs uh, company so uh, Yes. Uh, sorry. Um, yes. Here, sudo is not here. It's here. Sudo for at key add. Okay. Um, we add the repository with add apt repository. Okay, and now we can do an update to be sure, but we have already done an update. Okay, and now we can install uh, Grafana. So, sudo apt install Grafana. Okay, yes. And after it, we can check if we have our uh, service, if uh, our service is running. So do systemctl status Grafana. So no, Grafana underscore uh, Grafana uh, dash server. Okay, Grafana is not running, is inactive. So we can just start our Grafana server. And we can check if Grafana is running. Yes, we can check uh, by default. Grafana listen on uh, port uh, 3000. We can check it with the net start dash and top. And we have now a Grafana server who, uh, which uh, listen on uh, port 3000. We can just open our browser. I we use the IP, I use the new port, and we have by default uh, our Grafana. And to connect, we can use admin, and by default, uh, the password is admin. And we can connect, no, uh, admin, sorry, admin, admin, no, yes, admin, admin. And now we have our Grafana. We can uh, connect uh, our Prometheus on uh, Grafana server. To do it, we go into uh, this uh, this configuration uh, block and we go in data sources, add data sources, and we can choose Prometheus, select. We can add a name for uh, this data source. I keep Prometheus. And we can use HTTP slash slash our IP and the port of our Prometheus 1990. So that's all I think. Yes. And we save and test it. Okay. Right. Uh, I think 
Oh, yes, we have many. Um, maybe, if I, yes, we have some metrics. We'll see it later. Uh, we have some metrics for our uh, primitive server. Um, and we can find it in uh, our uh, Grafana. Uh, we can just uh, do a quick test, a uh, new dashboard, and we can add a panel. And we can uh, check the load, for example, here. And now, uh, so we can change the range, last five seconds. And OK, we see our load average uh, for one minute. And we can apply. And we can zoom it. Yes, right. I think that's all for today. Thank you for following this, vi this video. Uh, and I say goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye.